A lot of the time, Deep Green Resistance gets characterized as an environmental movement, maybe because we have the word green in our name, but I don't think that calling us just an environmental movement really speaks to why I decided to join the organization. I feel like it encompassed all of these issues that are the problem and just tied it all together. We haven't done very well over the last few thousand years. You know, we've had militarism, we've had slavery, we've had misogyny, we've had you know, these horribly stratified societies where there's the rich and the poor and chronic starvation and all the rest of it. I don't, I don't, what's wrong with saying let's abandon this and do what we did before, which worked. <laughs> we didn't destroy the planet for those first four million years. We actually participated. We look at this culture and we say, the sooner this thing comes down, the better. The sooner collapse happens, the better. And so we actually lay out a strategy for a way to achieve that collapse. Because we believe that not only the natural world, but humans will be better off without this culture. You know, so many of us are living in a state of alienation, in a state of dependence upon a system that's killing us, that's poisoning us, that's feeding us, you know, this toxic, this toxic imagery, this toxic culture that really destroys, you know, our internal selves just as it destroys the external world all around us. And we think, you know, it's, it's long past time that this culture came down. The war is being raged against the natural world, and you don't stop wars primarily by um, simply asking. One of the ways you stop a war is by destroying the enemy's ability to wage that war. Terror is all around us. I mean, if the living world could speak, it would say that it's afraid probably every single day of being gutted and torn down. And so I don't think it's fair to talk about terrorism in terms of protecting those who are terrorized every single day. My planet is dying, and I will do what needs to be done.